Hey, so I just finished rewatching uh, Pupiavati Zeder. That's my favorite Pupiavati movie. It's from 1983. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about this movie's elements, which I think are outstanding, and also some of its shortcomings. So, this is uh, Zeder. Zeder is a kind of um, metaphysical horror dressed up as a detective story, or you could say the other way around. It's a kind of a murder mystery masquerading as a horror movie. So there is that sub supernatural element there, but there is also a definite uh, procedural element when uh, Gabriele Lavia's character, who's this uh, egotistical novelist, uh, when, when he gets this present, this old, huge, massive typewriter, and he finds that there is an odd cryptic message on, on the old ribbon. As the protagonist, we are confronted by this irresistible kind of enigma. And we can straight away tell that there is going to be hell to pay if you find out the truth behind Zader and what this is about. But still, with the protagonist, we cannot resist the curiosity. We cannot resist the call of this enigma. And this is a very typical trope of a detective story uh, where it's just for the sake of finding out the answer that everything happens. There is no other deeper motivation for the character. There isn't anything bigger at stake, at least not to begin with. And there is this prologue of Zeder, which uh, starts in this uh, kind of Baroque villa in France. A lot of ominous goings on in the, in the basement of this villa. We are, re we are introduced to more and more characters who are gathering there because there is something supposedly go odd happening within the earth beneath this house and there is that music which one of the greatest aspects of Cedar is the score by Rizzotolani it's a very powerful score at times even overbearing and when you see the opening credits with just on plain black background there is that music which promises you like something apocalyptic which never quite arrives in the film itself Zeder stays more or less in the low-key territory. Also, there is that... I think one of the aspects that don't work so well is the editing in this film. A lot of the time when things only just start getting interesting, this is when Avati chooses to cut away, which I'm not sure is so wise. Let's just say the pacing is odd. Also, the story isn't always clear. Now, the, the general gist is, is fine. We realize there are those kind of areas where the earth is special so that if you bury something in that area it will not quite die and it sort of comes back to life but not quite so there is that uh, zombie-esque uh, aspect to it I think in the States they premiered on home video as Revenge of the Dead as a would-be zombie film which it isn't truly I mean Zeder is, is a bit of an odd uh, mongrel you could say it's my favorite Pupiavati film because um, there is something there. Very hard to put your finger on it, but it's definitely there and it makes it worth watching. Gabriele Lavia, well, he's clearly a gifted actor and, you know, he looks good on camera and everything, but somehow the way his character is written and positioned, he isn't always super engaging. So I didn't really care so much about his uh, trials and tribulations throughout either, but he's kind of there as a figurehead. so we navigate the the sequence of mysteries and reveals through him so it could have been a more engaging protagonist but there you have it there is this interesting gallery of female characters in there when i say interesting because none of them seem to be quite uh, nice gabriela lavia's uh, girlfriend or fiance she kind of alternates between being a very cliched girl who's completely disinterested in, in uh, Gabriele Lavia's uh, research and his, uh, in his sleuthing. And she's, she seems kind of bubble-headed from time to time. And then on the other hand side, she's occasionally very perspicacious and she's the one who puts him onto the right track at least twice throughout the film. So somehow her character isn't positioned as super... Uh, super deep or in any way original so that was boring but then there is a an nymphomaniac girl then there is this kind of creepy uh, blind uh, woman then there is a wooden there is a woman who drags her leg who's we we remember her from the from the prologue where she was apparently mangled by some unseen uh, evil force 
there is a lot going on in the other like actually the first 15 minutes feels like a separate film in its own right with uh, some of the characters don't ever re really come back to explain anything they sort of come back and die later on the film so Zeder definitely feels choppy and there are a lot of exciting moments and there is one of the genuinely creepy moments but it doesn't all quite hang together and so there are um, kind of moments where the story flags a little bit so we feel like ah oh, this isn't as exciting as the music is suggesting because the music sometimes is pounding and it's telling you yeah well, this is something really uh, horrific uh, going on right now but it isn't actually <laughs> that horrific but there is definitely a mysterious atmosphere which considering the film's vintage is from 1983 just when the italian genre industry was going down for what permanently it wasn't going to recover from that so that way the genre of uh, uh, of horror film or of kind of home brewed uh, mystery supernatural horror was in decline so Zeder is one of the really uh, more successful attempts at uh, keeping the genre alive from that period so I'll give it that I watched Zeder in the in the Italian dub and uh, Gabriel Lavia's character was given this kind of quite deep sonorous voice which also added this uh, level of he was kind of sad all the time and even uh, sort of sad in a very uh, like he was grieving all the time even though even before horrible things started happening to the character in the film he already kind of looked haunted and depressed so i don't know if that was uh, a great way to portray a character because there wasn't such so much of, of an arc for him even though he does come across some nasty challenges later he seems already <laughs> uh, suffering and unhappy to begin with so that was my uh, impression that was a bit odd so i would say to sum up cedar definitely the strength of it is there is enough originality there there are some clever ideas they're explored in in a bit of a scattershot manner but they're there it's not a movie that rips off any a uh, huge American hit so it's not it's not like a cash-in film I don't think so so it's quite original there is that acting is far from brilliant but it does the job supporting characters are actually more brilliant than the leads I thought the music definitely sets the tone might be a bit overbearing at times but I can't imagine say there was any other music so great scene Rizzo Tolani fantastic so there are the good factors and there is that sort of poetic atmosphere of mystery which i really appreciate and then on the not so brilliant side we've got uh, choppy editing really exciting moments mixed with some more pedestrian uh, just dialogue scenes which aren't that uh, exciting to follow there are plenty of loose ends there is a uh, dead ends showing up characters who are built up to be something uh, you know important and they're not not quite explored we don't really we don't really ever find out what their uh, ultimate mission was so Zeder even though it does answer some questions it, the, when the film ends also I gotta say the final twist it's you see it a mile away see it coming so um, yeah there is that predictability to the end it's not super original but there are some good also scary moments which may, they're not they're not jump scares per se but there is that creepiness which a true poopy of IT film delivers there is that morbid something very unwholesome about the whole affair so if 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 you like if you like genre films if you like european italian horror movies then zader is definitely the one to check out if you haven't already i've got it in my collection i've seen it at least five times not my favorite italian horror film but it's definitely my favorite poopy of art film thanks a lot for watching and bye bye